And now that you've counted a few exhales and gathered your awareness, find one of your blocks. Let your knees be bent. We're gonna take that block, we're gonna hold it between our hands. We're gonna take an inhale, and we're gonna push that block straight up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna exhale and take that block over our heads. Inhale back up. Exhale over. Inhale up. Exhale and over. Let that block come back up. Bring the knees into the chest. Put the block on the top of your shins. Gently pull your knees in. Rock from side to side. If you don't have a block, you can just bring your hands to the top of the shins. Enjoy that nice back and forth, massaging tailbone and the low back. Take that block, hold on to the shin of your right leg, send your left leg long, stretch it out, flex your toes towards your knee, take a breath in. Exhale, bring your left knee in, block the top of the shin, right leg goes long, stretch it out, flex the toe toward the knee, take a breath in. Exhale, both knees back in. We're gonna go ahead and start with our core. Take the short side of your block, put it against your thigh. Put the back of your bicep into the block. You wanna squeeze right here, give it a good squeeze. And then stretch your right leg, right leg on right arm long. And then exhale, maybe lift your shoulders, elbow to knee. If lifting your shoulders strains the neck, keep the head laying back. We're gonna do 10 each side. Exhale, squeeze in, inhale long. Exhale, squeeze in, go long. Long, five, and long, six. Make sure you're squeezing that other side, and long, seven, and long, eight, and long, Nine, and long. If the neck starts to bother, just let the head lay down. 10, and long. You'll still get that core stretch out nice and long. Take a breath in. Exhale, bring that knee in. Block to the top of the shins, a little rock back and forth. And then other side. So you put the block into the thigh, behind the bicep, the tricep. Push into the block. Make sure you have a nice hold on on this side. This will help to squeeze the core in. Inhale, other side long. Exhale, elbow. I like to take my elbow past the knee so I get a deeper crunch. You can do elbow to the knee if you'd like. Exhale, do what's comfortable. Go long. Three. And long. Don't do these super fast. Exhale. And long. Five and long, six and long, seven, squeeze that other side and long, eight and long, nine and long, ten and long. Head lays back, bring that knee in. Block to the top of the shins, give them a nice squeeze, rock gently from side to side. Hold the block with the hands, take them over the head, stretch, feet up toward the ceiling, feet toward the ceiling, arms reach and stretch, breath in. And out. In. And out. Bend the knees, bring that block down, put the block down, Hold the right knee into the chest, left leg long. Stretch it out, let your left heel come down to the ground. Open up, arms letter T. Three big circles with that right knee. Warm up those hips. Three circles in the opposite direction. Big or small as you feel comfortable. And if you'd like to stretch that right foot toward the bottom of your mat as you draw your circles, you can do that too. Bring it back. Left knee in, give both knees a squeeze. 
Hold on to your left shin, send the right leg long. Heel down to the mat, open the arms, letter T, pull your waistline in, three circles with that left knee. If you wanna extend the leg while you draw the circles, you can extend the leg. And then go ahead and draw those in the opposite direction. Nice warming up of the hips. Maybe getting a little knee love too. Bring that knee back in, bring both knees in. Stretch the arms over the head, feet to the ceiling, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees, hands to the back of the thighs, lift the chest up, tuck your chin. If it's comfortable, you can roll like a ball to the front of your mat or roll to your side and sit up tall. Once you're up here, torso circles, both directions, sit up and torso circle around a few times. And let's make this a little bit more core. So if you bring your hands back towards your torso onto your thighs, you're gonna have to use your core a little bit more. And see if you can lock down the hips, push the hips into the mat as you circle around with that core. And that'll help to engage those muscles. And then we're gonna go back around in the opposite direction. Breath in and out in and out find your way back to your center let your shoulders relax down arms reach up a couple wide hand wrist circles both directions and then we turn to the left and let the arms sweep inhale up to the right and sweep up Left, notice the breath, move with it. Inhaling up, exhaling and twisting. One more time each side. Up and to the side. Inhale, go ahead and reach up, interlace the fingers. Turn the palms up toward the ceiling, stretch up. On your exhale, tuck your chin, bring those arms out in front of you, round through the back. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, fingertips down. Inhale, left arm up and over, reach and stretch, opening through that rib cage. Go ahead and lean. Think about gluing that left hip down. Push down through that left hip, create a lot of space between the hip and the shoulder blade. And now think about turning your chest up toward the sky a bit. Maybe turning the head and gazing up. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, turn and look at the right fingertips. Take the left fingertips toward the right fingertips. Stretch open that upper back. If you can get the fingers all the way to the ground, great. If not, just get them as low as you can. And then take that left arm and stretch it out in front of you. Inhale, come back up. Shoulders halfway up to the ears and back and down. One more, halfway up to the ears and back and down. Left fingertip stretches out, right arm reaches up and over, push down into that right hip. Take a nice breath, stretch through the rib cage. Glue that right hip down, whatever hips you're leaning away from, push that hip down. Roll the chest open. Keep reaching through the fingertips. Maybe turn and look up. And now we're gonna turn and look at our left fingertips. Our right fingertips are gonna reach toward the left fingertips. Keep reaching them, opening through the upper back. And I'll stretch that right arm out in front of you. Inhale, lift up. Turn the palms up, take a breath in. Reach up the arms. Exhale to your heart. And we're gonna repeat our affirmation for this week. Same as last week, I liked it so much we drone it again. I flow with ease. So allow yourself to repeat that phrase to yourself several times as you breathe in and out. And yes, we're gonna flow with ease, hopefully through our practice. But think about it in a broader sense, flowing with ease through the facets of your life. Sinking up, finding a little synchronicity. 
I flow with ease. Your keys being right where you left them. That parking space being right where you needed to be. All the ingredients for what you have a taste for in the refrigerator. I flow with ease in my life and in my practice. I flow with ease. Take one more breath in. Let it out through the mouth. Come on over to your hands and knees. Tabletop, knees under the hips, wrist underneath the shoulders. We're gonna stretch our left foot back behind us. Ball the foot comes down to the mat. Go ahead and stretch back through that heel. Notice if your hips are level. If your left hip is higher than your right, pull your belly button in, level that hip off. And then we're gonna cross that left leg over our right. Push into the arms so they're tall, turn the head to the right, and then we're gonna look back toward that left foot. Find your breath. Bring that foot back. We're gonna come into spinal balance. Right arm comes up, thumb points up, level off the shoulders, lift those left toes, not super high. The higher you lift them, I don't know if you can tell, but your hip's gonna come out of line. So bring the hip back into place, flex your toes towards your knee, reach from your heel through to your fingers, really lengthen through the body here. Waistline is pulling up and then engaging through the core. Take one more breath here. And then hand down, knee down, one cow, one cat. Lift through your heart, lift through your tailbone. Exhale, tuck and round through your back and your shoulders. Come back to a neutral spine. Right foot becomes long behind you. Ball the foot down to the mat, spread the toes, stretch through the foot. Reach back through your heel. Take a breath in. And out. We're gonna cross the right foot over the left. Push the mat away so the arms are tall. Turn the head toward the left. And then look behind you at that foot. Feeling that stretch in the opposite side. Take a breath in. And out. Uncross the foot. Left arm comes up, we come into spinal balance. Pull the shoulders out of the ears, lift the toes up, stretch from your heel through the fingers, thumbs up, toes down, waistline pulled up and in, extend and lengthen. Keep that distance from your ears and your shoulders the same. Pull your belly button in, take another breath. And then the hand down, the knee comes down. One cow, one cat, lift the heart and tailbone. Exhale, tuck and round into your cat. And while you're in this cat, pull the hips back toward the angle, stretching the spine. Inhale, shoulders over the wrist. Hands come out to the front, let's find our down dog. Stretch back, soften the knees. Walk that dog for a breath or two. Alternate between lifting the heels and bending the knees. Deep in your breath. Go ahead and lift up both your heels. Bring your shoulders over your wrists, ears out of the shoulders, push them out away, pull the waistline in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Stretch back. Step the feet up. Fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Inhale, reach up, feet tall, tall mountain. Push down into your feet. Heart lifts. Shoulders relax. Pull your rib cage back in towards you. Push into all four corners of both your feet. Gaze up, start to take the thumbs back, open that chest. 
Exhale, bring your elbows down, cactus, like you want to touch your elbows behind you. Inhale, letter T, arms, pull the arms back, stretch, open the chest. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Hands to the mat, down dog. Plank, chaturanga, plank, down dog. Stretch that tailbone back. Step up, fold, halfway lift, fold. Inhale, tall mountain. Find the feet, push down. Rib cage pulls in towards you, thighs squeeze toward one another. And now we pull the shoulder blades out of the ears. Keep them out of the ears. Keep stretching up through your pinky fingers. Take the thumbs slightly back behind you. Exhale, cactus. Elbows come down like they want to touch behind you. Inhale, arms wide and pulled back, letter T. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, down dog. Plank, chaturanga, plank, down dog. Stretch the tailbone back, step up. Fold, halfway lift, we're gonna twist here. Soften the knees, right knee bends. Right hand, left ankle, left hand lifts up. Take a deep breath. Exhale, float down. Left knee bends, left hand, right ankle, inhale up. Take a deep breath. Exhale, slow down. Push into the feet, inhale, sweep up. Pull the thumbs back, lift up back. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, T. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, down dog. Plank, feet together to touch, heels to the right, left arm lifts up, side plank. Exhale, float it down. Heels to center, push into the arm, strong hands, use your whole hand to hold firm of your hand. Heels to the left, right arm up. Side plank, breath in. Exhale, float down. Inhale, heels to center. Come back to down dog. Knees soft, stretch that tailbone back. Right leg lifts up, three-legged dog. Stretch that heel up as high as you can comfortably. And then exhale, knee into your chest. Hold it here, lift up to your heart. Tuck your chin, see if you can get your nose a little closer to your knee. One, two, Three, send that leg up super high, as high as you comfortably can. Take a deep breath. Exhale, bring that foot down. Plank, chaturanga, plank, down dog. Left leg up, take a deep breath. Stretch it up as high as you can. Exhale, knee into the chest, arch the back. Tuck the chin, hold it there. See if you can get your nose a little closer to your knee. One, two, three. Send that leg long. Stretch it up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop the foot. Soften your knees, stretch the tailbone back, step the feet up. Fold, halfway lift, fold, let's twist. Right knee bends, right hand, left ankle, left hand up. Float it down. Left hand, right ankle, right hand up. Float it down. Halfway lift, lengthen that spine. Exhale down. Inhale, be tall, push into the feet, up through your pinkies, pull the thumbs back. Shoulder blades are down, ears are over your shoulders, lift through your heart. Pull the rib cage in towards you, feel the core connect. Exhale, cactus arms, elbows come down. Inhale, letter T. 
Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, float down. Halfway lift. Hands to the mat, down dog. Plank, step the feet together. Heels to the right, left hand up. Side plank. Float it down. Inhale, heels to center. Heels to the left. Inhale, right arm up, side plank. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, heels to center, down dog. Right leg up. Stretch it up. Exhale, right knee, get it to your right shoulder as close as you can. Go long. To left shoulder, close as you can. Go long. Knee to the chest, arch the back, tuck the chin. Go long. Let's step that foot through into a lunge. Find your lunge. If it takes you a second to get here, go ahead and take that second. Take a breath in. Let your hips sit down. You can use blocks here. So if your blocks are close enough to you and you want to use blocks to rest your hands on, you can do that. Let your hips step down. Take an inhale, pull the hips back. Right leg straightens. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale and bend. Inhale, straighten. And when you straighten, if you'd like to lean your torso just a little bit toward that leg for an extra little more intensity, you can. Be gentle with yourself. And then bend that knee. Take a breath in, exhale, step the back foot forward, fold, halfway lift, fold, inhale, be tall, exhale, fold down, halfway lift, shoulders out of the ears, lengthen, hands to the mat, down dog, inhale, plank, chaturanga, plank, down dog, soften the knees, stretch back to your tailbone. Send your left leg up as high as you can. Three-legged dog, stretch it up, take a deep breath. Left knee to the left shoulder as close as you can. Inhale, go long. Left knee to the right shoulder. Go long. We're gonna bring that knee to center and step it through. Find your feet. Use blocks here if you'd like. On your exhale, let your hips dip down a bit. Notice if they're level with one another. Try to make sure the one hip's not behind the other. And then inhale, pull the hips back, straighten the leg. Bend your knee. Straighten. And bend. On this straighten, if you'd like to lean your torso just a wee little bit towards your leg, a little bit more intensity there. And then go ahead and bend the knee. Take a breath in. Let the hips step down. Inhale. Exhale, step the back foot up. Fold, halfway lift, fold. Inhale, reach up. We're gonna sit back into a chair. Pull the hips away from the knees. Well, first find your feet. Push down into the balls of your feet and your heels. A little more in the heels than in the balls, but the toes should be soft and light. But you're really pushing down through the feet, engaging your core, and now pull the hips slightly away from your heels and maybe sit a little lower. Turn your pinky fingers in toward one another to open through your upper back and bring your ears over your shoulders. Take a deep breath. On your exhale, we're gonna row to the left. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, arms up. We're going to sweep back, pull our waistline in. We're going to lift up our heels. We're going to keep the heels lifted and arms will come up. Exhale, arms will go back. Heels stay up. Arms up. And back. We're going to drop the heels and stand all the way up. Take a breath. Pull the thumbs back. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, T. 
Exhale, hands to the heart in prayer, high flow with ease. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, down dog. Plank, chaturanga, plank. Feet together to touch, heels to the right, left arm up. Slide plank, maybe a leg comes up. See how you're feeling about that today. Take a breath. Exhale, heel comes down, hand comes down. Inhale, heels to center. Exhale, heels to the left. Inhale, right arm comes up. Maybe we lift a leg, maybe we don't, but you never know until you try. Lift through your hips, stretch through your fingers. Bring that foot down, bring the hand down. Heels back to center, plank, chaturanga, plank, down dog. Soften the knees, stretch back through your tailbone. Inhale into a plank. Drop your knees, drop your chest. Palms are underneath your shoulders. Pull the elbows toward the back of the mat. Tuck your chin. Reach toward well, the top of the mat, maybe underneath you, but reach your top of your head away from your toes and your toes away from the top of your head. Feet are close. Push down through your hips. Inhale, lift up your heart. Exhale, come back. Inhale, and lift. Exhale down, lift, and down, lift, and down. We're going to do a cattail. Take the arms out to either side of you like the letter T. Face is looking down at the mat. Turn your head toward the right. Pick up your right leg. Take the ball of your right foot over the left leg, and then you should feel a nice stretch in the front of your left shoulder. The more you point your knee up toward the ceiling, the more you're gonna feel a little bit of a twist through the body. Take a breath. Belly button back down to the mat, arms out, letter T. Tuck the chin, lengthen through the top of your head. Turn your head to your left. Pick up the left leg. Bend the left knee, take the ball of the left foot over to the right. And you feel a nice stretch in your right shoulder. The more you lift the knee, the more you feel that. Take a breath in. And out. In. And out. Bring the belly button back down to the mat. Hands underneath your shoulders. Lift the heart away. Come up to kneeling plank. Come up to plank. Come back to down dog. Soften your knees. Stretch back through your tailbone. Step the feet up. Fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Widen your feet out to the sides of the mat. Soften your knees. We're going to come into a rag doll. Opposite elbow, opposite hands. Tuck the chin. If you want to make your body twist a little bit, if you lean to each side, you can. Deep in the breath. We're going to go ahead and we're going to come up in a circle. Make sure the toes are turned out just ever so slightly. And when you lean to the right side, bend that right knee. Take an inhale, lean to the right side. Bring the arms up, grab those elbows, stretch them above your head when you get to the top. Exhale, lean down to the left side. And now we're gonna inhale up to the left side. Pull your belly button and squeeze it in, stretch up through those elbows. Exhale, down to the right. Inhale, up to the right. Exhale, down to the left. Inhale, up to the left, pushing into the feet, squeezing that waistline and stretch up and down to the right. One more, up to the right and down to the left. Stay here with me, little rag doll side to side. Find your breath. 
Release the fingers, fold down. Bring the feet back to hip distance. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sit back into that chair. Find the balls of your feet. Lift up your toes, balls of your feet, heels of your feet. Squeeze your inner thighs like there's a block. Pull your belly button in. Turn the, the pinkies in toward one another. Opening through your shoulder blades and bring your ears over your shoulders. Sit those hips back just a hair more. Lean over to your right foot. We're going to lift our left foot up. Three-legged chair. We're going to step our foot back, crescent lunge. Find your feet, land into your lunge. Open through your heart, take the thumbs back. We're going to exhale, turn the belly button toward the right leg, open the arms. Shoulders over your ears or ears over your shoulders. Stretch through your fingers. Keep twisting the belly button toward that leg. Pulling in through your waistline. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, sweep the arms back behind you. Lean forward. Let's see if the toes will lift up. Find an airplane. Breath in. And out. In. One more stretch. Fingertips back, toes back, tuck the chin, lengthen through the top of the head. And then let's go ahead and step our foot up. Roll the shoulders back and down, find mountain, lift through your heart space, arms come up. Keep reaching through your pinky fingers, pull the thumbs back, little back bend. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, T. Exhale, hands to the heart. I flow with ease. Inhale, arms up, push into your feet, find your chair again, pull the waistline in, Pull the hips away from the knees. Sit back a little lower. Ears over your shoulders, thumbs or pinkies turn in toward one another. Open that upper back. Lean over to your left foot. Right leg lifts. Three-legged chair, take a breath. Right foot steps back. Crescent lunge, lift through your heart. Pull the thumbs back. Rib cage pulls back in towards you. Turn the belly button toward the left thigh, open the arms. Ears of your shoulders here, push into the feet, pull in through your waistline, keep moving the belly button toward the thigh, stabilize that front leg. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale, sweep them back. Stretch back through your fingers, roll the shoulders away from your ears. Lean forward, see if you can get that back leg to lift. Try to keep that hip level. Stretch back through your toes and your fingers, tuck your chin, lengthen the spine. Think about tailbone, all the way to the top of your head, getting taller. Pull back with your toe, forward with the top of your head. Take a breath. Keep breathing. Right foot comes up to meet the left. Hands still in mountain, roll the shoulders back and down, lift the heart. Invisible string pulling the top of your head up. Arms come up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, T. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, sweep up. Soften the knees, fold down. Halfway lift. Hands to the mat, down dog, plank, chaturanga, plank, down dog, take a breath in, and out. Inhale, right leg lifts up. We're going to take that right foot all the way over to the left and kick it out to the side. We're going to drop over to the big toe side of our left foot and raise the left arm up, rock star, take a breath. If you can make your left, your right foot be flat, you can push and maybe raise up that right leg. 
foot down, hand down. Kick that leg back up, three-legged dog, stretch it up. Exhale, right foot down. Inhale, plank, chaturanga, plank, down dog. Left leg kicks up. Three-legged dog, stretch it up. Bend the knee, kick that left foot over to the right. You can stay right here. Drop over to the big toe side of your right foot. Maybe right arm comes up, maybe it doesn't. Push down into that right foot, maybe lift that left leg. Find your breath. Foot down, hand down. Kick that leg back out long, stretch it out. Exhale, drop the foot. Soften the knees, step to the top of your mat. Fold, halfway lift, fold. Inhale, be tall. Exhale, fold down. If you don't have a block at the top of your mat, get yourself a block for the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale the mountain. Relax through your shoulders. Push into your feet. Lift the arms up. Chair. Turn the pinkies in toward one another. Ears over the shoulders. Rib cage back toward you. Push into the right foot, raise up the left heel. Step it back, find press and lunge. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Relax through your shoulders. We're gonna turn this into star. Inhale, come back around. Turn the toes toward the corners of the mat. Open up for a star. Exhale, bend the knees, come down, goddess. Inhale, back up. Exhale and down. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. Inhale, come on back up, find your star. Let the arms come almost to letter T, pull them back, stretch open. Exhale, take your left hand around to the front. Turn all the toes toward the front, come back into your crescent. Inhale up. Exhale, bring the hands down, bring the right hand to the top of the right block, left hand to the, the left hip, half moon, right fingertips down, left leg lifts, take a breath, maybe lift up the hand, inhale, exhale, hand back to the hip, soften that right knee, Turn the left toes to face the front. Switch the block. Move the block over to your left. Left hand on the block. Right hand on the hip. We're going to lift the left foot and we're going to come into ha revolved half moon. So here the toes are going to point down. And now we're going to raise our right hand up with the left hand on the block and turn. Twist the best we can. Soften your right knee. Bring your back foot down. Bring it up a little bit, about halfway up. You can bring the block a little lower or bring your hands to the ground. We're gonna come into pyramid. Gently pull back to that right hip. Let yourself fold down, breath in. And out. In. And out. Bend into that right knee. Fingertips can stay on the block. We're gonna raise that left leg up. One last thing for that quad, come back into that airplane. Stretch back through your fingers, back through your toe. Take a breath in, out, in, and out. Soften that right knee, step that left foot up. That right leg should be saying hello. Both palms face forward. Roll the shoulders halfway up, back and down. Ears over your shoulders, lift up through your heart. Lift through the top of your head. Inhale, sweep up, pull the thumb slightly back. Exhale, sweep back. Inhale, up, hands to your heart, fold down. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, down dog. Inhale, plank, 
chaturanga, plank, down dog, soften the knees, stretch back through your tailbone, step the feet up, fold, halfway lift, fold, inhale, reach up, exhale, sit back into your chair. Heels away from the, or hips away from the knees, pushing into the heels, pinkies turn into one another, ears over your shoulders, sit back a little lower. Pull your rib cage in. Lean over to the left foot, raise up your right. Three breaths. Three breaths for three-legged chair. Right foot comes back. Inhale, lift the arms. Relax through your shoulders, take a breath. Rib cage pulls back for you, lift up. Exhale, twist. Shoulders over your ears, thumbs up, find your breath. Inhale into star, twist open, toes turn out, exhale, elbows down, goddess. Inhale, star, stretch back, exhale, goddess. Inhale, star, exhale, goddess. Inhale, back in the star, take your right hand around toward the front, Turn your toes, find your crescent lunge, take a breath in. Exhale, we're gonna come down. We're gonna bring that block over to our left pinky toe. Right hand to the right hip, left fingertips to the top of the block. Open for half moon, shoulder open, hip open. Stretch back through your heel, fingertips toward the sky. Stretch up and off the hand needs to stay on the hip. Leave it on the hip. Pull your waistline in. Get a nice stretch. Breath in and out. Turn the toes down, hand back to the hip. Back toes turn the face to the front of the mat. Move the block over to the right side. Left hand, left hip. Raise that leg up almost like we did spinal balance. Level the hips off. And now take an inhale, raise the left hand up. Bend into that front knee, step that back foot down, step it up a little more than halfway, straighten through that front leg. You can use your block here or fingers to the ground. Pull back to that left hip. The feet aren't super far away from one another. And you can play with that distance so if you want to pose for a further away, and then pull that left hip toward the back of your mat. And as you exhale, you can gently lean over that front leg for pyramid. Go ahead and bend into that front knee. Bring that back leg up. Stretch the fingertips back behind you for airplane. Tuck the chin, lengthen your spine, tailbone through top of the head, a nice long line, toes stretching that line back, fingertips stretching back toward the back of the mat. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Take one more breath. Step the back foot up, land into the feet, give the knees a little bounce. Inhale, sweep up the arms, breath in. Exhale, sweep them back. Inhale, sweep them up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, T. Exhale, hands to your heart in prayer. I flow with ease. Take three breaths of awareness. Just notice how the body feels here. Inhale, sweep up. Soften your knees, fold down. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, step back to down dog. Knees are nice and soft. We're gonna stretch that tailbone back. Let's come into a down dog pigeon. So you're gonna cross your right ankle in front of your left knee here and stretch back through the hip.
Undo. Find your feet, soften your knees, stretch that tailbone back. And now go ahead and put that left ankle in front of the right knee. Toes to flex toward the knee. We're stretching back to the hip. Uncross, back foot down, soften the knees, stretch back. Inhale, find yourself in a plank. Roll the shoulders out of your ears. From here, if you'd like to come into wild thing, wild thing from plank, right leg's going to lift up. We bend the right knee, ball the foot comes over, and maybe the right arm lifts up. Stretch open through your heart and your chest. Lift through your hips. Take a deep breath. And then let the hand come down. Squeeze the belly, flip back over. Find your plank. Push the mat away. Inhale, left leg. Lifts up, not too high. Bend the knee. Bring the ball of the foot over to the other side. Wild thing. Wild thing from plank. Breath in. Out. In. Hand comes back down. Squeeze the belly button and flip back over. Find your down dog. Breath in. And out. Wind your knees, let your knees come to the mat. Big toes together to touch. Stretch back into those hips. Take another breath here. Walk the fingertips out in front of you as far as you can. Let that back stretch open. So you can stay with me here for about six more breaths. Or if you'd like to come into down dog and do your wild things from the down dog shape, you are welcome to. Same thing we did in plank, except your up and down dog. Go ahead and move through that if that's comfortable for you or stay here in child's pose for another breath or two. And once you've done your down dog flips to each side from, um, once you've done your wild things from down dog, we're gonna come back into your child's pose and then lift your heart up and we're gonna thread the needle from here. So let the chest come away from the ground. We're gonna start with our left arm. We're gonna extend it straight out to the side. And then we're gonna take an inhale and lift our heart up, breathing into our heart space. On the exhale, we're gonna thread our fingertips between our wrist and our knee. And then we're gonna exhale through our shoulder blades. So we're breathing into the heart space and breathing out between the shoulder blades, opening up that space. Be able to flow with ease. We need to clear out anything that's blocking us, anything that's cluttering our space. So breathe into your heart and out through your shoulder blades, clearing that space, letting the energy flow. And then let yourself lift up. Still with those wide knees. And this time we're gonna take our right arm out to the side, straight out. Stretch the right arm away from the fingertips, away from the shoulder, and then inhale, lift the heart to the sky, breathing deeply into your heart space. As you exhale, thread the needle, open through your upper back. If you can, pull the torso a little away from the hand to really open up that space. And then take a few breaths here, breathing into your heart space and out from between your shoulder blades. Maybe thinking the words, I flow with ease. And then inhale. Let yourself come up here. Come on over to a seat. One more nice, great, big heart opener. 
before we're all done, if you don't have a block, you can use a pillow or you can come into traditional fish. But we're gonna come into supported fish. Bring the one block right below your shoulder blades and the other behind your head, unless you'd like your head to lay all the way back. Let the arms open up, let your knees do whatever you feel comfortable with today. And let's take three nice full breaths into our heart space. And then let your forearms find their way down. Lift up and away from the blocks, whatever you're laying on. Come all the way back and down. Bring the knees into your chest. Give them a nice little squeeze. Stretch your legs up toward the ceiling. Stretch your fingertips up toward the ceiling. Give the fingers and toes a little wiggle. And then let the legs come down. If you need space, let your arms open wide. Let your feet walk apart and your knees come together to touch. If you need more connection, let your hands come to your belly or to your chest. But find yourself into your comfortable shape for Savasana. Find your breath, feel the rise and fall of your chest the air in the nostrils, in the throat. Feel the space beneath you, feel the support beneath your body. To exhale, allow the body to soften and relax. And for the next few moments, simply allow yourself to just be.
Invite your breath to deepen. Feel the energy of your practice and breathe it all the way out to your fingers and your toes. You'd like to roll onto your side and take a few more breaths there. You're welcome to. When you feel ready, find your way to a seat. Once you're here, let your heart space lift up. Let your palms come together. We touch our minds and our hearts and we are grateful for our practice. Happy Monday. Thanks, Pam. Thanks, Pam.